A topic that uh, frequently affects all of us to some degree or other is uh, timing. Timing can be important in any number of areas in life. Especially in the spiritual realm. Frequently we pray for family members and of course we want God to work in their lives immediately. We want to see them changed. We want to see them blessed. And yet at times those prayers apparently go unanswered for long periods of time. Where can we draw solace? Where can we find understanding? Of course, in the scriptures. We can look at any number of examples in the scripture where our thoughts on timing and God's thoughts on timing are very different. Uh, probably the most telling one is uh, the story of redemption. We had the fall of man and in our estimation perhaps God should have immediately thrown Satan into the pit. immediately provided Adam and Eve with the Redeemer so that mankind could be blessed forever from that point forward. But in God's timing and in God's wisdom, he chose to wait. We need to, at some point, realize that no matter how we do or don't feel or what we think, that God's timing is the timing which is best. He waited several thousand years before the Redeemer came. We can look at the Apostle Paul. Why is it that Paul was not convicted and converted at the stoning of Stephen? Or during the early days? Why was he allowed to go through years of being an awful brute, a persecutor, an enemy of Christ? God's timing. He had a perfect time for that to happen, and as a result, many were converted, many books of the Bible were written, and none of us can really say whether Paul would have been more fruitful or productive if he had gotten converted at an earlier point in time. The same goes for when we're praying for our family members. <coughs> I myself went through a few years of pretty awful things. I will not recount any of that, but I'm sure my mom, who prayed for me consistently as well as my grandmother, at some point probably wondered, okay, God, I've been praying. When, when are you going to do the work? When are you going to act in John's life. God did work in my life and although as we all have ups and downs, God has continued to mature me and develop me over the course of time. Why I got converted when I got converted, I can only attribute it to God's timing. If there's someone that you're praying for today who is in a hard place, who is going through great difficulty, perhaps even abiding in some deep sin that has them in bondage, don't cease to pray. Cease to have hope. But continue to pray, continue to hold fast to God, and continue to remember that God's timing is best. Perhaps some of the lessons or some of the scars or regrets that come in that person's life by being allowed to remain in that state a while longer will be the very seeds in their life that will give them an opportunity and an ability to reach others for Christ in a way they 
might not where they converted today. This is not a fatalistic message. This is simply a reminder that God works on a different time scale than we do. We just need to hold fast to him and trust and watch for the deliverance to occur.